What's up all you Mushroom Kingdom dwelling dudes and dudettes, Toy Shiz here and I got a really quick review for you today. We're totally going to be checking out the brand new Jack Pacific Super Mario line of figures for 2019. Found them a little bit early in Target stores and when I saw them on shelves I nearly lost it. I was like dang, look at those. That is looking fantastic and always happy to find new World Nintendo slash these new Super Mario figures. Got to get out of the habit of saying World Nintendo. They are doing this spinoff for the time being. Mario is up and coming again. We're going to have theme parks, movies, that whole jazz. So what better way to do it than to get people excited with Mario figures? Me thinks that Netflix might be going after Legend of Zelda, Metroid, and those types of lines. So when they do that kind of thing... All of the rights typically go on hold. So you know what? We might see them later. We might see spinoff lines. But for right now, we got Super Mario. And I could not be more stoked. Mario, in this new line, this new wave, is the exact Mario we've gotten before. Luigi is repacked, repurposed as well. But you know what? That's great. I don't have a Fire Luigi, so I'm equally happy to add him to my set. I just didn't pick up the Mario because we have a million of those Marios so far. The packaging, on the other hand... Man, oh man, this is rocking. This really emulates the fun of the Mario Brothers franchise from 80s to present. Like I said, Mario, not a whole lot of difference there. I thought it was going to be a brighter colored Mario, but it's not. But if you want to go ahead and freeze frame the bio, here's what the packaging looks like. But we can go ahead and look at Dry Bones, a.k.a. Pair of Bones. So you have the flying version of the Dry Bones. Love the Super Mario background. He's jumping around in the back. You got the Mushroom Kingdom. You got Parabones in the yellow and all that stuff. But it really is the back of the card, which looks like a Nintendo kind of menu system for a video game and such. I really like that it looks like that. And you get a really awesome bio with each figure. Nice full color photo. Every figure in that particular little wave, that is looking great. Same thing with the Fire Bro. Very, very happy to have this nice window box packaging. Super Mario in all his classic colors. Reminds me of Super Mario 64 right off the bat. Every time I see those colors put together. And like I said, reds, yellows, all that great stuff. It's just the fun of Nintendo in package form. And I'm very happy to see them go this route. It's a little bit different from the world of Nintendo, but I think it's a welcome one. It breathes new life. It's really eye-catching on the shelves. You'll see it when you find these in stores. It's really like something you're like, oh, whoa, that's really cool. You know, that's uh, it's something different, and it happens every time they have a packaging switch up or something like that. So I'm really, really stoked that they're doing this and that they're carrying on the world of Nintendo with Super Mario. I'm glad it didn't stop or go a different route or anything like that. But I have been looking forward to this Piranha Plant. Can't even tell you when it was first announced back at SDCC. I was like, heck, yeah, I cannot wait. One of the one of the, my most favorite characters in the Super Mario franchise. All that great stuff. Man, oh, man. You, so, so stoked. And they can do so many different kinds with this mold now. So I'm very happy. And that's why these figures lend themselves to that. They're not really repaints. They're new figures. But, hey, it's great. So let's get into it. And here is all four figures straight out of the packaging. And man, oh man, Jax did not disappoint. We have the Piranha Plant, the Fire Bro. We have Parabones and Fire Luigi. And man, they... The thing about Jax Pacific with these Nintendo figures is that they are also spot on to the actual Nintendo characters. But I think in return, the Nintendo characters really have a nice design sense. They're very much child friendly and you know excitable and just the silhouettes and everything that they create they look like they they are designed so well and they really really lend themselves to the action figure form i mean even luigi here now with these figures they do a lot of repaints you have to understand luigi though this this works because it is a different variation obviously it's fire luigi Give him a slim, simple white green coat paint and boom, you have a different character, so to speak, different costume. Now, this is the same one from a previous iteration. So it's 2015. So that, you know, to have that on the bottom of the feet, you're like, okay, whatever. I mean, this is obviously 2018, but it works because one, this is basically a re-release of the Fire Luigi. And two, I don't have Fire Luigi. So it's, it's actually really great. Heads on a joint, left and right, arms go up and down. And he does have a elbow swivel. 
and also a hand swivel. Legs kick out eh, about that much, and he has a single jointed knee, but nothing at the feet. So for what these figures can do, and to keep them so spot on, I'm actually happy. I don't need them to do a dozen stuff. I don't need super articulation out of them, but they're fantastic. And his accessory is a fire plant flower. So that is really cool. Again, painted really, really nicely. Beautiful. Looks exactly what it's supposed to look like. Stands well. It's just, it's a home run in that sense. So I'm happy even though it's a repaint. Now, pair bones, completely different story. This guy is a new sculpt all around. He's a pile of bones that they strapped together into plastic. Look at the details on the shells, the paint, everything. I love the color of the boots. I love just the melding of each thing. His eyes, just the silhouette, the side profile. Man, this thing is fantastic from head to toe. You see that 2018 on the bottom. So it's a brand new sculpt. Everything about this figure just screams like it's jumping out of the video game. And the best part right here is that his mouth opens and that it looks it's perfect. It's like the best thing just to see that. And it, it looks like it's alive. It looks like it's moving. The eyes give it so much character. You do have a bit of a arm rotation and then not so much a elbow, but it's more of an elbow twist. So not a lot. And then a hand twist as well so as you can kind of see it's not a full-on joint it just basically kind of twists and that's what you kind of probably have to do with a figure so small the joints only go so big in this sense but he does have a knee joint and everything else and his feet swivel so it's it's really really cool just the paint everything about this figure I'm gushing because it's a great looking looking character as you can kind of see yeah he he does have a like a two joint system on his feet. So that's really cool. But I love the chomping action. They're giving a little bit more life to these characters. For all you stop motion people with Nintendo, you're going to love it. The one thing I will say, the accessories here are that if you give them wings and such. So I, my understanding is that, you know, you always call these guys dry bones. So now you have para bones, obviously, with the like Koopa Paratroopa kind of deal. That's cool. But I really wish that they wouldn't count the wings as accessories. I would prefer... You know, more when you hop on these dudes and you squash them, they turn into a pile of bones. I really think that would have been a much cooler accessory than saying the wings are accessories. Because really, if you're giving this pair of bones, the character is pair of bones with the wings. So you kind of, you know, and you need to come up with more accessories, World Nintendo. That's the only thing that, you know, really I can criticize you about. But look at the face and everything. Man, this thing has so much personality to it. I absolutely absolutely love it it's so much fun i this is one of my new favorite figures out of the world nintendo slash now super mario spinoff line with the fire bro it's basically the hammer bro but instead of being green now he's red for obvious reasons again it's a repaint but you slap a little bit of a different paint on him and you actually do get a new character so to speak so you got the fire bro and i gotta say it's painted really really nicely nice vibrant red couple little you know maybe blemishes here and there but overall it's not really something you're going to notice it's just something i have to say in the review because i'm pointing everything out not a whole lot of articulation in the head but it does kind of rock back and forth so that's kind of interesting and you know kind of like on a ball you have a little bit of a shoulder rotation it's not going to go all the way up because it's hindered by the shell he does have a elbow joint and he's got a bit of a wrist swivel to him legs kick out about that much and he does have a double jointed, like a, well, I shouldn't say that. It's like a double swivel, we'll say, knee to foot ratio. Love his little tail underneath. Man, like I said, these character designs, they lend themselves so well to what Jax is doing, and they look beautiful. Now, he actually has an accessory in that sense. So he holds the fireball, fire flower, whatever you want to call it. It looks like cotton candy that's on fire, but it's really nicely painted it has a nice flow of yellow to orange to full-on red there's no qualms at all and as the side profile you can see it looks like he's either spitting it out throwing them whatever they do it's just it's really really cool now with the fire bro obviously you got to get two right so when i see another one of these guys i'm gonna have to pick them up that's why they always come in two the hammer bros are a pain now the fire bros are a pain <laughs> And last but not least, of course, is my favorite figure of this wave I could not wait for. I've got the Piranha Plant. The Piranha Plant is one of my most 
favorite characters. The silhouette, everything about it just screams Mario and his mouth and jaw is articulated. That is so cool. Look at all those teeth, the tongue. This is an awesome figure. And you know what's funny? The teeth are actually kind of, they're not like sharp, sharp, but they're, you know, they're pretty pointed. Don't push down too much. You don't want to break. But yeah, you would, <laughs> you could actually hurt yourself sticking, you know, your, your thing in there. A little bit of a gappage when you close your mouth, you know, on this thing, but from the side and it, that's when you're going to see it. But from the top and, you know, front end, it's, you're not going to see it painted really well. Mine has a little tiny blemish. Let's see if I can get it off. No, nah, it's pretty much, it's in the plastic. Not to worry though. It's still, I'm so, so happy about it. But one of the coolest things about this, right? So you can go ahead and you can kind of swivel them, right? And they, and they say that in the packaging, you can kind of turn around. I don't know why that's such a big deal. I mean, I'm glad they put like a little bit of quote unquote extra articulation, but it's really when you flip the head, you get a nice smiling piranha plant. And I love that. I love that's like old school Nintendo. Now, obviously, the jaw is going to open from the top and stuff, but that is so cool. So you have like, you know, looking up, mind your own business, kind of a mad piranha plant and, you know, have the teeth sticking out, all that good stuff. You flip it over and he's like a happy piranha plant, but he's just as dangerous. And I love these things. Future iterations, if you want to go ahead and repaint it, all that kind of good stuff. Here's the bottom. You can see all the information, 2018, yada, yada, Jack Specific. Make it so that his mouth opens, put a little thing, put a fireball in there, baby. That's what I want to say because this this coin block, whatever you want to call it, this thing has to go. You guys got to do some new accessories, but overall, these figures are rocking. So that's going to be my review for the brand new Jack Specific Super Mario figures for 2019. These are amazing. I especially love the Piranha Plant and the Parabones slash Dry Bones whatever you want to call them. Luigi and Mario, they might be repackaged figures, but hey, you know what? I didn't have the Fire Luigi, so I'm happy to add them to my collection. And the Fire Bro is a repaint, but you know what? It's a welcome repaint because it's a brand new character. So what do you guys think? What are you going to be collecting? Are you going to be grabbing these new Nintendo figures? And what is your favorite one out of this line so far? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk toys. And I want to know, what are you guys' thoughts? Do you want to see build the figures maybe along the lines for Jax? What do you want to see in terms of what they do with this line? I'm going to leave you guys with that. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can find out when I post more videos just like this one. Drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, find some fantastic action figures like these new Super Mario figures. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you soon. Adios.